Welcome back to my channel. I'm Farizing here. But anyways, this is what my makeup is looking like. Super duper natural. So today's hair is from Perfect Lace Wig. And this is what their box looks like. It has holographic gold details and very reflective as well. So in the box you get a couple of stuff like an elastic band that you can attach to your wig so it can fit more snug. And you also get two combs. You also get a pamphlet and it just gives you a few instructions on how to measure your head when you're about to order your wig and it gives you order details like your name, the type of wig that you ordered, the color, length, so on and so forth. And at the bottom they just recommend you use a white tooth comb which is something that I always recommend. So you also get a um, wig cap, you get a set of two wig caps and you get two clips that you can use to, you know, keep the hair out of your face while you're working on the hairline to apply your wig. So this is what the wig is looking like after being washed. I'm going to show you how I washed this afterwards. So it curled up a little bit as in like it got a little wavy which is a good indication that yeah this is good hair. And this is what the hairline looks like. I'm going to get into um, some details afterwards. So I'm just applying the wig to see if I need to tint it or not. And as you can see, I'm very excited because I've always wanted to try like a blonde wig. And it's a little too light for my skin tone. So I'm going to tint it with um, a powder. I was hoping that this fits my hairline and it does. So I'm super duper excited. So this is what the wig looks like before being washed. It comes super straight in the hairnet and there is like a tissue paper on the inside just to help the wig keep its shape while being shipped. And this is what the hairline looks like. It's pre-plucked which is exciting as well because you know we hate having to pluck our hairline on the wigs. There's a couple of baby hairs there as well, so you don't need to worry about that. This is what the inside looks like. You get a piece of lace in the back if you want to glue around there as well. You get four combs, one in the back to one either side and one in the middle. And this is how much parting space you get. And it also has adjustable straps in the back as well. So to wash the wigs, I just do what I always do. I put some shampoo in a basin and I just push it around I don't scrub it as if I'm washing clothes <laughs> so after that I shampoo this twice then I go in with conditioner and I just do the same I squish it around and rinse it out so this is what it looks like again after being washed. It waved up just a little bit and it's looking pretty good. I got minimal shedding which is super duper fine and normal. So I laid this flat to dry for a few hours. It still was a little damp because it's winter time so I'm just going through it with my blow dryer. So to tint the lace, I'm just going to go over all the lace area with a powder that matches my skin tone. Some of it is going to come out on the roots of the hair, but I mean that's totally fine. It's just going to look like, oh your roots grew out. So yeah, that's totally fine with me. So right now I'm just applying the wig and it's looking amazing so far. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. <laughs> So I'm just gonna tie this down with a scarf just to make it, you know, lay super duper flat. After removing 
removing it this is what it looks like I didn't do any baby hairs or anything it's just it's just laid back you know no baby hairs nothing so I'm just gonna go through it um, with a flat iron to straighten it out and flatten it out I'm doing a center part on this one you guys know that I have a super big forehead and I don't like to do center parts but I think a center part would look really good so I'm just gonna take a small amount of the hair from the side just to see how well it works with a flat iron So this is what it's looking like after being flat ironed and for the hairs that are sticking up I'm just gonna go over it with some hairspray so after I spray that on I'm just brushing the hair down to you know let those little tiny hairs lay flat And this is the finished result. I am super duper happy with this. It fit my hairline perfectly. This is how long it is on me and I am 5 feet 2 inches. And the hoodie kind of pushed it up a little bit. So yeah, that was it for this video. Everything you need to know about this wig will be in the description down below. So yeah, see you in the next one. Bye! Oh,